Okay, guys, um, I'm going to go in with my NYX brow gel. And I have it zoomed in so y'all can see everything I am doing. Um, the only time I'm going to zoom out is for you guys to see me do my face. So I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hill dip brow in the shade Ebony. And y'all can see why I like to do my eyebrows first because I just like wipe wherever I mess up and I clean up with my pretty much my hands on myself. So um, that's why I do my brows first without anything on. I don't even think I have primer on or anything like that. It's just brows first. If I do them in a different order, they take me so long. So it's easier when I can just wipe, fix, wipe, fix, fill in fix you know it's just easier for me to do it that way sorry I'm like leaning to my <laughs> leaning to my mirror so that's why you can't really see the other brow getting done. But it's the eyebrow. Everybody's not the same unless yours is shaped exactly like mine, which they're messed up. So hopefully not. Um, you ain't really missing anything. So I'm taking the Too Faced Concealer in the shade um, Mocha. And I'm just going to do the bottoms, um, obviously, because I'm getting ready to do an eyeshadow look. So uh, I'm not covering my whole lid with this, though. I'm going to use a white base. I just didn't. I'm not going to take a white all the way up to my brows. <laughs> I, I'm not doing that. So I use my regular concealer. That That's why I didn't go all the way down to my lid either. It's just more for me to clean off later. So you're going to just see me blend that out. And that was a um, elf, just that's an elf like eyeshadow brush. Just dense, easier to for me to blend out with that. I don't feel the need to waste a blend, the actual blending brush to blend out the concealer. Like it did, it did what I needed it to do. So this is P. Louise's um, shade. There, it's the pure white one that I'm taking, just so y'all can really see the colors I'm gonna be um, using. And. It's so hard to get it like fully covered and I didn't want to use a ton. Now I follow them on Instagram and I see them use a, a big glob of it. But now I kind of see why because otherwise you see it's kind of like see-through as I'm patting it on there. Plus I'm going to buff it out. Mostly around where my concealer is. Yeah. But it kept getting really splotchy, so I'm just going to add some more, add some more, which is fine because I just wanted it as white as possible for this look anyways. And the brush um, that I'm using right now, it's just a brush I got off Amazon. It came in a set. It's just a flat brush. And I'm just taking that same, I'm just going back and forth and doing the same thing. Just until it's filled out to my liking. So the palette I'm going to be using, I will not be um, talking about. I won't say who it is uh not like gatekeeping or anything it's just because i needed to use this palette because i've had it for a long time if you know you know but anyways so i'm gonna go in with this purple um shade first and i'm doing purple and blue and then once i put the purple on i realized i already have a purple and blue look on my <laughs> on my channel so i swear i'm gonna do different colors I swear I am. I just, purple and blue go together so well. So that, that's just what I grabbed. Um, I went in with this blue, but I knew it would be too light. 
So I'm actually gonna um, go in with a deeper one, which this worked out because I'm blending them anyway. So you'll see when I put the deeper blue in, it worked out anyway. So if you mess up like I did and put the lighter color first, it's fine because I'm going from dark in my crease to light on the outside. Um, and even though I did that, the purple, the purple is fine also. So here I am taking that um, darker blue that I was talking about. And you can see it's going to work out because then I'm just going to uh, blend over it with the lighter blue I was already using. I could have put the purple more forward. That's probably like the only thing I wish I did. But I was nervous doing this. But there I am um, going in with more purple just to deepen it before I start blending out um, the lighter color, which I believe it's going to be like a magenta. It's going to be like a pink, uh, like a nice uh, dark pink. And I have to kind of like go, there I am with the light blue. And I'm just going to try to blend this out um, my best of my ability. I'm not going to take this all the way to my eyebrow. So if you see me like leaving a gap, I don't know. I just don't like how that looks like me blending color over my eyebrows. Like, uh, I don't know. I used to do it and I don't like how it looks, but um, there I am with the pink and I'm just gonna go over it. That purple, and you see it blends well together, so. And just like I said, um, when it comes to mm, blending for me, I just go back and forth. I just keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until, and then I took a uh, clean um, blending brush and I went over everything I was gonna go over. And I'm just trying to deepen it. I probably should have patted it on first, but it's fine, I don't mind it. But since I'm gonna like pretty much cut the crease, um, with a little trick that I learned um, earlier today too. I'm just putting the color where I need to be able to see it before I pretty much take it off. So I just took some Vaseline on this like flat brush and I'm gonna wipe it off with a baby wipe. Um, I wish I knew about this forever ago, but I'm gonna just put try to put the Vaseline exactly where I need it to be. That's why I'm doing it with a brush, not my finger or anything like that. And that's why I'm not going straight in with the wipe. I just want to make sure everything's up so I can get it as clean as possible. The girl I watched do it, she got hers cleaner. But just like I said, this is my first time doing it. It was like her 80th time doing it. Like, I believe she said she got this trick from Taylor Made, And I guess if you follow wigs and makeup, you would know who that is. I follow her. I love her. So... When she said she got the te technique from her, I knew for a fact that it would work. So you can see the white is still kind of on there, which is fine because I'm going to go back with white again. <laughs> but I'm just trying to get it off as much as possible. That line right there wasn't as clean, so I'm just going to pull my lid down and try to get as close without messing up everything else. I'm just going to put some more Vaseline just to get even like, because I had a hue of blue still on my lid. You can see when I look down, there's still a lot of blue. So yeah, I'm just trying to get close. There I am. Close as I can. And honestly, I recommend it. I liked it a lot. Um, you can do this with any colors. It doesn't, you don't have to be doing exactly what I'm doing, but uh I would do this just if I had a like nice little nude look, like a brown, and then like going in with like a glitter on the lid. You can do this the same exact thing, just so you want it to stand out more. But yeah, I thought that was a neat little trick, so I like that. I'm gonna be using that forever now. But here I am going back in with that same white. This is where it gets tricky. Like I knew that first part wasn't gonna be bad. But um, I was trying to take my time. And if you see the way I'm doing it, this is why I'm messing up because I'm going like sideways and all this stuff like that. 
I should have just been like how I just brought that down. I should have just been pulling it down to where I was like putting white and just laying it flat on my lid instead of swiping it to the side because it was making my lid move and it was not making it as sharp as I wanted it to be. And I mean, I feel like I got it together. It was fine. Um, but I didn't want to take too much of what I already blended off. So if I was to move this white up a little bit, I feel like it would really kind of take off what I just did. But a lot of this is me cleaning up this white. I'm not even going to hold y'all. This was really hard um, getting it on there and getting it to stop getting everywhere, like transferring to the top and everything like that. I'm trying not to bling. Um, I'm trying not to like look up. I'm trying to make sure my phone can see me. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure y'all can see what I'm doing, but uh, this was really hard to do. I'm not gonna, even going to lie to y'all. This was this was very ambitious for me not doing makeup as long as I have been and now doing this. But like I said, I feel like in the end it turned out that, look at that. I was so upset I just did that, just rushing. But I'm just patting it down so it stops looking like translucent. And I'm going to go back with uh, that blue and just fix it up. And then look, it got on the white. And I just sat there and I was just like, should I just take it off? So yeah, I just went back in with the white and I'm just fixing it yet again. Um, I did this a lot. I was trying to have a whole conversation also um, while I was doing this, um, which was also very hard. That's why I said a long time ago, voiceovers is just the best for me, just so I can really explain it because a lot of stuff be happening around me. Um, but here I am with that same flat brush and I'm taking that P, P. Louise and I just keep trying to fix it, fix it, fix it. I'm fixing the shape, I'm trying to make it sharp. Um, yeah, I just wanted this to be the best and a lot of times, oh my God, I messed it up again. I forgot about that, like you can see it's on the blue. And that's why I kept looking at the camera like, y'all, I am trying, like please. <laughs> I was so, and it's so close to the white that I'm just like, I just have to go back and forth and then I transferred what I did last time. And I remember just yelling a really bad word, like right when it got up there, I was very distraught. But it, it it's okay. Like makeup is fixable, um, always learning. I just sat back and I was just like, y'all fixing this was a mess. but. Uh, <laughs> I like doing it this way and my friend said to just post it even when I mess up on stuff to show that if I just did a whole bunch of transitions and just jumped to when it got fixed and when it was done and not showing y'all the trial or error I don't like to make stuff look easier than what it is um, a lot of times if I say it's easy it's because it was easy for me a lot of stuff that's easy for me ain't easy for everybody else. This to me was hard. Somebody else might, who don't even do makeup, can do this and be like, oh, it wasn't that bad. You know, it just depends. Um, I try not to get too distraught because I know at the end of the day, I can fix it. And worst come to worst, take it off. I would never be doing this if I had somewhere to go. Like, if I had somewhere to go and I was trying to do a look like this, girl, <laughs> I would have started 6 a.m. I don't care what time I had to be there because I overthink and I like to make it look as good as possible. As, as good as I can make it look. Now doing this bottom was very hard because I was just like, wait a second. How am I going to make it look like the top? Now this was different from uh, the look I saw. Uh, she didn't do this on her, on her lid. She just mimicked the top part. So... I'm trying to like clean up the white, which I don't know why I did like, I don't know why I did that. Look what I did. Uh, Y'all, I was like, let me just finish the bottom before I fix the white. It was driving me crazy. I was like, oh my God, 
But I just got so far, I got this far, I was like, I'm just gonna leave it. So I'm taking that lighter blue um, towards the wing. I didn't wanna cover the wing uh, completely. I like it white, like the white's supposed to be in the middle, so. And then I'm taking that pink, the like light as I can because when I look up, it's just like blending with that blue I got in the wrong spot. So I'm just like, calm down, calm down, it's fine. My husband's trying to talk to me about how much he hates his job and I'm just like, uh. And I'm trying to like respond and he's like, am I messing you up? And I'm like, no, I'm just really mad. <laughs> really mad because I messed it up way before he even came out there. So. so I'm just cleaning up the sharpness of the wing. And I'm just gonna fix the, mind you, I just want y'all to see, I haven't fixed the white yet. Like you see me like scratching behind my head. I'm just like, girl, this is, ooh, I was getting mad. So I took a angled brush that I found. And I mean, he told me something and I was real mad about it, but we ain't gonna talk about that. But I have my eye open just so I can see what it looks like that way. And I tried to, I should have tried to fix it also with my eye closed because I couldn't see all this at the top. Like every time I so, like oh, close my eyes, some you see like the whites kind of up there. And it's just I was just like I'm so I'm so sick of fixing it. But I needed to fix it. But I was telling him um, how somebody at his job I ha I hate it also. So that's why I'm making that face. It's not the makeup. Um, <laughs> it's the conversation <laughs> but uh I feel like I still fixed it um I fixed it the best I could the white is gonna look whiter I am gonna do a trick that she suggested and I feel like I shouldn't have done because um I think it would have been fine without it but y'all will see when I get to that part but yeah I'm just trying to fix it up where it has white at the top and it's it's not gonna be this rough I'm just going back with that darker blue and I'm just trying to blend 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 but also so you can see hey there's dark blue up here and it's blended to that light blue so here I am with a different angle brush doing that white and I was like, okay, yes. And mind you, still trying to have a conversation. And my hands have gotten a lot shakier because I haven't done liner by hand in a long time. That's why I also I don't have no nails on, nothing while I've been trying to film because I shouldn't have rushed. I would This would have been perfect if I just went and did this. It's all on my lid again. If I would have just went at a different angle, because I think this is the reason that, yeah, see, I'm trying to like, I don't mind blending it. I'm just making sure I don't have too much white on my brush to mess it up again. But this, okay, so I'm taking my um, lash glue, the Duo um, that dries clear. And I think this didn't work because I didn't let it dry. But she said to put this in the crease area, like where you have the white, so it won't crack. But uh, one, I think I did too much. And you see it's getting everywhere. I was just being, I was, it was like 11 o'clock at night, y'all. Like, I'm, I was trying to be dumb, but then I was trying to remind myself, stop rushing because it's causing you to mess up. You cannot rush make, makeup like this. Like, you need to take your time. And I'm trying to let it dry while he's talking to me. I have no concept of time or anything. So I just have to keep fixing where I keep going over because I put so much glue. And I found um, this even smaller brush. The, the irritating thing about me doing this look was I have white liner that I later found the next day. And if I would have just had that white liner <laughs> this day, I wouldn't even have to do all this in the first place. So honestly, I suggest, unless you just don't want to, you can do it the way I just did it. Um, it still turned out the same. 
but it probably would have been a lot cleaner it, um, with the white liner. But if you were using white liner, then using the glue like I did before would have been better because pretty much I'm using a concealer. So I'm just taking that angle brush and putting um, white um, powder right there from that palette just to set it so it stopped moving around. But like I said, I told y'all it would, it would work out. I'm going to do the bottom as well. Just because my eye is going to be my main focal point, I'm not going to do like anything crazy with my lips or anything like that. I just put a little white because um, I could have just did it with regular concealer, but I feel like since I did white from the top, I need to do the same for the bottom. I am just uh, putting all the colors down there and now I'm gonna do the other eye because I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that was done yep so there they are there's both of them and now that I have both done it looks a lot better to me and I'm just gonna take this um, elf coreless uh, this is the putty and I'm just gonna put this all over I'm going to take my Fit Me powder and set my um, primer that I just put on. And I just do this, it's the same method as if I mixed it with my um, foundation. But I'm going to do more of a full face since I have such a dramatic eye. I'm going to do my concealer and all my creams um, and my foundation all mixed before I blend them all out. So instead of putting my concealer on top of my foundation, I'm just going to put everything on at the same time, pretty much. And this is the P. Louise. This is the darkest shade that they had, and I'm put, um, putting it in my, well, besides black. So this is the darkest brown they had. And this was um, Too Faced uh, foundation. This was in the color uh, Coco. And I just spray this uh, flat brush. And I'm just taking it all over. I know this looks crazy, but it actually uh, turned out really smooth and flawless. It looked really good. But of course, I'm doing where I would normally let my concealer sit. I'm doing that very last part. It's like my under eye. My under eyes are going to be like last. Plus, I didn't want it all to mix mix. So, yeah, you see me blend out my forehead. And you can see that the highlight's still there in my nose. Everything like that. This was really hard to do with this brush without um, getting into that under eye, but I, I think I did pretty good. I didn't mess it up, so I just cleaned it up. And like I said, if you wouldn't want it this full like this, I would just use a beauty blender or go in after doing it like this with a beauty blender just to soften it up, but I did want it to look exactly like this. But I feel like this method um, actually made it since my skin is oily, I'm going to take um, the contour that I have. I'm using the medium to dark by Black Radiance. And I'm using that darkest shade in there. And then I'm going to take the gold right next to it. Well, it looks gold to me. It's not the highlight, but it's the <laughs> concealer powder. And I'm using that one. And you can see my face is like really shiny. So I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline um, Studio Fix, and this is like just white powder. 
but it's translucent and I'm just gonna go over everything with that and you can already tell it takes that shine out I'm not worried about looking like a ghost or anything with this because it is translucent it is taking some of that gold shine away but that's fine because I still have bronzer blush to put on and then I still have to spray my face so this sets so it's not gonna look like that when it's done but you can see since I'm lifting up my eyes and everything I just noticed that the white is getting all on my lid but this is the Coco Naughty by Fenty um, bronzer that I took on there and this is the Anastasia palette this is the Jackie Ina palette I took two pinks in here and I did my blush with that just because I felt like it looked nice with the eye makeup I mean honestly I could have just took the same purple if I wanted to but I took this um, color in here I don't remember the name of it but it looked white and you can see it is not it is gold and I went to fix this so I took the other palette I was using for my eyelids and I'm gonna just take a white that's in there and it just seems like it just intensified the gold that I put so I was just like I'm just gonna leave it <laughs> it'll be fine when I put my eyelashes on but I'm gonna spray my face and I'm gonna fix up the white again just making it look as sharp as possible without really messing up anything. But like I said, I should have been um, looking down and fixing the eyelid um, color, but it was fine. And I got these lashes from AliExpress. And these are like really dramatic ones. Um, these weren't that full, which I liked, but they were long, so I felt like it, it was good for this look. So you could still see my eye makeup, but me still have a dramatic lash on. Hard, they are really hard to stay. I usually would put lash glue on my um, lid too, but I knew I was taking this right off, and them lashes would have been secure, like really, really secure. That's me just like blending out that white that keeps like getting on my lid. But since I put them on so fast, it didn't want to stay. I, I adjusted it again at the end. But this is pretty much how I fix my lids every time. I mean, my um, eyelashes every time I put them on. And make sure you push them up too. So now I'm gonna do my lips. Uh, this is a trick I learned too. Use a, a cream contour as lip liner. It blends so much better. And I'm just taking like an angle bl uh, brush and putting it on. And I'm using one of the browns from. Um, P. Louise but I wanted it subtle I didn't want it like super strong because of my eye makeup but yeah this is a contour uh, this is like just a dark brown and it stays a lot better too so this is our my lip glosses um this is my pink one my perky pink and I'm taking my clear gloss right over it Bomb. boom so here's the final look. Um, I hope you guys like it. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And I will see y'all next time. Bye.